Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Love and Wonders Tarot. This is your About Last Night reading where I take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using the Good Tarot Tarot deck along with the This Might Hurt Tarot deck. And as you can see, I've already meditated, shuffled and pulled the cards. All of my cards are red in the upright position. So let's get started Capricorn. Okay Capricorn, today this card represents the overall energy between you and your person. And these cards represent your person and I have an advice card here for you. So um, we're going to get started with the overall energy between you and your person. It's the six of air. So this comes from the, um, the good tarot tarot deck. And this is about making necessary changes. Okay. There could be um, troubled waters ahead and you may need to address those issues. I feel like this is about, um, uh, a turbulent situation going on right now in your life and maybe you and your person are trying to figure out what the next direction should be with the six of air this could mean that you are thinking about one or both of you are thinking about leaving separating if you're married or just breaking up um, if you are not married and just you know there's issues going on right now things are turbulent <clears throat> and this does advise you to kind of try to remain calm during these challenging times. Okay, so we're gonna look at the next two cards, which represents your person's um, feelings, thoughts and feelings about you or this connection. And they have the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So I feel like in this situation, the two of pentacles represents, you know, back and forth. Things uh, are maybe you two going back and forth when it comes to different situations or the ups and downs the ups and downs of what's going on, the ups and downs of the situation. Things are good one day and then bad the next. But I do feel like your person wants to hold on to this connection. They want to make it work, okay? Um, yeah, but basically that's what's going on. So that kind of confirms with that six of air about the turbulence. I do feel like there's ups and downs, um, but your person does want to work it out, I feel, um, with you, Capricorn, okay? Um, they do, uh, you know, look at this person, they're holding on tight. I feel like this person does want to hold on tight to you and this connection. All right, the next two cards represent their intentions toward you. So your person has the two of wands and the four of cups. So I feel like, like I said before, your person is holding, they want to hold on to this relationship. So whatever's going on, it must be you Capricorn, you're thinking about whether you want to stay or remain in this, in this connection. So. Your person is trying to figure out what they can do. They're trying to build a roadmap. Like, what can I do to keep this connection together, to keep this marriage, to keep this relationship? Okay, your person is trying to figure out their next move. What can they do? Because they feel like this is you. They feel like this is you against this tree and this is them. Um, they feel like no matter what they do um, to try to make things right, you're just not really going for it. You're not trying to hear it right now, Capricorn. Okay, and so this person is working hard trying to figure out, you know, they're trying to plan their next move. They don't know what to do. Again, I have to reiterate that this person is trying to hold on to you and this connection. All right, what's blocking this connection? These two cards represent what's blocking this connection from moving forward. Um, there's the King of Wands and the Page of Swords. So this is about I'm going to start with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is very fun and exciting and passionate and sexual. So in a block situation, that means that you don't have that in your relationship, in your connection. It's gone boring. There's no more love, no more romance, no more excitement. And then with this Page of Swords, you're not, you're not trying to figure that out. Okay, so the Page of Swords is someone who, you know, they dig, they, they um, try to figure out this or that. They do their research. So I feel like this is saying that, you know, you don't want to do that, okay? Because I do feel like your person, they're the one, they they're, they want to keep, they want to hold on to the connection. But this, if someone is not trying to figure out how to make things work, then that must mean that it could be you, okay? Um, or this could be, you know, gossip. There could be people gossiping um, involved in this uh, connection, putting their two cents in. That's what this could mean as well. But yeah, definitely there's no passion and excitement left in this connection, okay? So those are the blocks. 
All right, your advice card is the Six of Earth. And this um, also comes from the Good Tarot Tarot deck. And this is about, you know, a happy surprise, generosity, okay? Um, this is about uh, rewards, you know, putting in hard work and getting the rewards back for your hard work. So I feel like this is, you know, suggesting, you know, maybe you want to work on it. I mean, it's not telling you, yeah, work on it, but it's it's telling you, you know, this is about give and take. What can you put in to get back what you want out of this connection, okay? Or maybe think about what you really want to do. Do you really want to move away, okay, from this connection with the six of air, or do you want to try to make it work? Because sometimes you have to take a look at yourself and try to determine what you put in to the connection, okay? Is this off balance? Is this an unequal give and take? Um, connection okay so I think that's the suggestion is of the advice is for you to look at that okay look at um, you know can you be a little bit more generous in this um, connection or do you just want out you know um, the bottom of the deck for your person is a star card so this is about healing so I feel like your person again I'm gonna bring it up again your person does not want to let you go and your person does want to heal this connection and um, Oh, wow. The next card down for your person on the bottom of the deck is a judgment card. But this is about a resurrection. This is about looking at what what went bad and trying to determine, you know, the next step. Do you want to um, get back together? Can we make it work? This is about a resurrection. This is about, this is another card that indicates that you're with uh, someone who's, you know, a, a soulmate. You and your person are divinely guided to be together. So, yeah. Um, I do feel like your person, again, they want to, you know, look at things and try to determine what went wrong, okay? And this is also a card that represents, you know, a someone returning, an ex returning or something like that. So that's what they want. They want to hold on to you, okay? They don't want to let go. So that's what I'm seeing, Capricorn. Um, you know, I do wish you the best of luck when it comes to the situation. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really up to you. Do you want to remain in this connection? Do you want to leave? Um, you know, this is this is definitely indicating that there's uh, turbulent waters. There's, there's trouble in paradise, okay? And do you want to continue to give to this connection? What is it that you want to do? Because you know what your person wants to do. They want to hold on to you, okay? They still love you. All right, Capricorn, that's what I'm seeing. So again, good luck with the situation. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video and have a wonderful day.